Hello, welcome to the training centre. Today I'd like to show you the correct application of standard blue base coat when painting the side of this reflex silver polo. Before we start, just a few key points to focus on. Having checked the climate and referred to the climate guide within the TDS, I've decided to use the standard setting for the base coat. For the spray gun, I'm using a 1.2 and I've adjusted the inlet pressure to 2 bar. All of the functional parts are fully open, which will allow me to have a full trigger at all stages of application. For application, I'm going to work in a one and a half coat process. I'm going to work from the bottom to the top. My first coat I will apply, I'm not looking for full hiding at this stage, I'm just going to apply a nice even closed film at a normal distance. I will then increase the distance to the object and concentrate on applying a controlled effect coat with nice close overlaps which will give me full hiding and good mottling control. You will see that I've placed some arrows on the car to help you follow my painting sequence. The idea is that I spray my first coat out to the orange arrows yeah, and having done that I will increase the distance and now I'm then going to work to the green arrow with my effect coat to make sure that I finish inside of that first coat. This is a common mistake we see that people make day to day is that they go too far with their effect coat. What I'll then do is I'll move to the second section and I'm working orange to orange before again increasing the distance and then working green to green to connect everything together before finally moving on to the last section and completing the job.
Just before I flash the base coat off, let's take a look at the result. As you will have seen, this was a nice easy process which allowed me to work in a productive and efficient way. You will see when you look at the base coat that it's not over wet, I've not forced it or over applied the material and that I've got some nice structure and texture there which is exactly what I need to ensure good metallic lay down and effect orientation. Let's take a quick look at the base coat now after flash off and before clear. You will remember that I showed you the texture and structure in the base coat when it was wet. Here you can see now that it's flashed super smooth silky flat base coat onto which to apply our clear coat. I also just want to show you quickly that you can achieve hiding in one and a half coats when you follow our application recommendation. Here you can see good hiding no sign of the repair area visible whatsoever. If you apply your base coat in the way that I've just shown you, this is the result that you can achieve in a very productive and efficient manner. Here we are, the car's just come off a bake. As you can see, the clear coat's done, everything's nice, great finish off of the gun. Finally, I'm going to take the car outside just to check it in daylight. Here's the job, ready for final inspection outside. Just as I said in the spray booth, no problems with cladding or mottling. Take a look, no issue with hiding either. Very good gloss straight from the gun. The job is ready to go. Please refer to the recap at the end of this video. Thanks very much for your time. I'll see you again soon. Check the climate guide before adjusting the base coat. Please refer to the TDS and climate guide for further information. When spraying, please apply from the bottom to the top to help reduce overspray. Distance to the object and overlap are important points to focus on. Full coverage should not be achieved on the first coat. Aim for 75-80% to hiding. The effect coat must be applied at a greater distance than the previous one, using a close overlapping technique for that final coat. To ensure that you control the build-up of unnecessary overspray, please make sure you keep the effect coat well within the limits of the first. Maintaining structure in the wet film is key. This will help you avoid clouding and will help improve colour accuracy. Take care not to over wet or over apply the base coat.